This week, the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force came out with a recommendation to screen for depression in adults, including pregnant and postpartum women in primary care. And most people would agree that having a baby can be the happiest time of your life. Even though a new mother could be completely in love with her baby, she could still face some mental health issues because of her pregnancy. And we're talking about postpartum depression this morning with Dr. Jill Garrett. She is a licensed psychologist from Baptist Behavioral Health. And a lot of people don't think about this, but 7% of the population in adults depressed, 10 to 15% are women who are prenatal that are right. battling depression. So why is it so important to diagnose this? Well, I'm really pleased with the recommendation that came out because obviously they're high numbers and it's really important to screen so we can have identification and then hopefully treatment so people can get relief. So at my gynecologist, I have a nurse practitioner mm -hmm. and she's wonderful and she is also a psychologist. Mm -hmm. um, so she'll come in and she'll ask me, hey, so how have you been? How's your personal life? You know, how are you feeling? How's, you know, your weight? And at one time I lost like 10 pounds and she was like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Like, is everything in your life okay? Um, is that a form of screening? Like, how do you go about that at the doctor's office? Sure, that's really ideal that that's going on for you. Some providers may may not have time to do that, and so this recommendation is great because it really um, puts providers in the driver's seat, recommending that not only primary care doctors but OBGYNs and pediatric providers ask people who are in pregnancy or in postpartum questions about depression symptoms so that they can get identified and then treated. I told you about my friend over the break, right. just had a baby, she's dealing with postpartum, um, and, and there's some guilt with that. You know, I think women sometimes feel guilty about having this, but it's not anything they control. Why do women battle depression either during their pregnancy or after birth? What causes that? There are a whole host of reasons and risk factors that people can deal with depression, but the great news is there's really good evidence that things like therapy and medication can be helpful for improving mood. And so as these recommendations come out, um, if providers aren't even asking the questions yet, hopefully they will in the future and screen for depression. But if you're feeling depressed, like your friend or other people who are out there, it's really important that people feel comfortable to say, hey, even if there's not a screener right now, I'm having some symptoms and what can I do about treatment? And, and talk about, too, the fact that being a mother, the most important job in the world, really, you know, most people would argue, you want to be 100% with your help. Sure. So talk about that aspect, too, of not being afraid to come forward and not being ashamed, but saying, you know what, hey, i got to get this taken care of because I have a child to take care of. Right. A lot of times, particularly with maternal mental health, it, it becomes a problem when moms are not taking care of themselves. Mm -hmm. So making sure that moms can step up, say, I want to get help for me so I can take very good care of my child, my family. Um, that's really important, too. And so what are those ways to treat? Does it depend on, because sometimes is it like a hormonal imbalance? Does it, does it depend? What, what the recommendations are for treatment for depression are therapy, mm -hmm. medication, and sometimes a combination of the both. And so it's hopeful that people can, with all this identification that's coming down the pipeline for assessment, that people can move forward with those treatments. Well, we appreciate you coming on yeah. this morning. And um, if you're suffering with symptoms of depression, Please come forward. Don't, don't wait to be screened for it if you already know what's going on. Talk about those symptoms with your doctor. Or you can call area mental health providers for support, like Dr. Garrett here, along with providers at Baptist Behavioral Health. And they provide support for adults, pregnant women, and postpartum women. We will be right back.